Welcome back to our B44.2 build, and we're attempting this scary task of soldering. And check it out. We've got some motor wires from Novak. These are the the uh, pre pre cut and pre tinned, and and uh, they actually are pretty nice because the end of the wires are finished off. Uh, essentially, everything is is all set except for the need for me to go ahead and solder the wires on there. So what I'm using is my old ancient kind of trusty Radio Shack soldering iron and the problem with it is it's uh, it has to get relatively hot so as you can see it's uh, the solder is not melting uh, all the all the little wires are moving around um, it's not quite hot enough to melt all the solder at a at a uh, decent temperature so what I'm doing is I'm just like heating up the Novak wire and I'm pushing the, the solder on top of everything and desperately trying to get that to melt on there. So I'm just pushing, pushing, and there we go. It's it's not quite sticking. And this blue stuff, uh, this blue stuff, I'm not sure quite what this is, but I noticed that my soldering iron got some of this blue gunk on it. Uh, when I when I got my uh, Tekken at the uh, RC swap meet, so I would appreciate if anybody could tell me what this blue stuff is and um, what what it's for. Essentially, um, I just haven't seen it before. But I'm gonna go ahead and just just try this from a different angle and add some more solder to it. So, and the and the thing is, uh, you just need to be patient with it. The uh, the, the motor wires actually had taped down with some black electrical tape. Um, just to show you how a hot soldering iron could work better, um, even though this is, I apologize for this being out of focus, but the uh, the blue wire uh, did did actually solder better. Um, also just so you know, it's uh, kind of color co coordinated with the, with the uh, motor wires. Um, yellow generally goes in the middle, that is B. Uh, the blue wire is A, and then the orange wire is usually C. So if you're not sure what the ordering is, uh, always solder yellow in the middle. It doesn't make any difference. And then and then uh, blue is going to be associated with your A port, and then orange uh, is going to be associated with the uh, C port. Um, I ran out of the uh, the electrical tape, but just so you're aware, like any kind of scotch tape would also work too. So it doesn't have to be electrical tape. Electrical tape just just could absorb the heat a little bit more, but uh, but uh, scotch tape could could do the job just as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply a little force towards the end of it, so the uh, motor wire stays put, and just grab the soldering iron and just push it down a little bit. And this particular one is very hard to solder on. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to go and wrangle this down. My thumb is getting so incredibly hot. There we are. <laughs> and, uh, ow. Like, so my thumb is actually half burnt now. But, but, uh, it, hopefully this is sticking here. There we go. It looks like there's enough solder for this to stick. So I'm just going to man up, tough it out, soldier on. There we go. Come on. And by the time you watch this video your you guys would be pros you guys would would uh, get this much better than I did all right so let the solder cool down and I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the the wires to my Tekken ESC um, I'm just like so anxious to see if, if this motor is gonna work um, it's just uh, uh, when you buy like parts off of eBay and and trade parts at ARC swap meet or pick up discounted parts at ARC swap meet. You're not sure if everything's going to work, but check it out. It's uh, the motor is firing. It's uh, it's going pretty good, and the servo is actually kicking in too. So this is this is really awesome. So at the back you can see it's a little out of focus, but uh, the motor is running. I'm pretty happy about that. And then the uh, the servo is also kicking in too.